Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about 10th October current affairs. First question is which Indian company has recently announced rupee 1.5 crore Arohan Social Innovation Awards to push innovation in social work? Right answer is Infosys. Infosys has recently announced Arohan Social Innovation Awards. If we talk about Infosys, these awards were announced by Infosys Foundation, which is a social arm of Infosys. Infosys Foundation was formed in 1996. The headquarter is in Bengaluru, and Ms. Sudha Murthy is the current chairperson of Infosys Foundation. Apart from that, Infosys Foundation has also signed memorandum of understanding with Bengaluru Metro Rail Corporation for the construction of Konappana Agrihara Metro Station. If we talk about Infosys, Mr. Nandan Nilekni is the current chairman, while Mr. Salil Parikh is CEO and MD of Infosys. Infosys was founded in 1981. Mr. Narayan Murthy and Mr. Nandan Nilekni are founder members. Answer in comment box. Which state will have India's first heli taxi service? Next question is: Which Indian organization has won the ISSA Good Practice Award? In Asia and Pacific 2018, right answer is ESIC. ESIC has won this award for administrative solutions for coverage extension. This award ceremony held in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. If we talk about ISSA, it is International Social Security Association, which was founded in 1927 under the auspices of ILO. ILO stands for International Labour Organization. The headquarter of ISSA is in Geneva in Switzerland. If we talk about ESIC that means Employees State Insurance Corporation it is an autonomous corporation and it is a statutory body that means it was created by law. It is under the Ministry of Labour and Employment. The headquarter of ESIC is in New Delhi. Answer in comment box Which company has been given National Safety Award for Industrial Safety? Next question is M N Palur who passed away recently was the modernist poet of which language? Right answer is Malayalam. He was the poet of Malayalam language. He was honored with Sahitya Akademi Award in 2013. If we talk about Sahitya Akademi Award, it was established in 1954. It is given for work in any of 24 languages. These 24 languages are English and Rajasthani and 22 languages which are mentioned in 8th schedule of constitution. If we talk about 8th schedule of constitution, initially there were 14 languages through 21st constitution amendment act Sindhi was added into it. Later through 71st constitution amendment act Konkani, Manipuri and Nepali were also added into it. Through 92nd constitution amendment act Bodo Dogri, Santhali and Maithili were added into 8th schedule of constitution. So now there are 22 languages in 8th schedule of constitution. Next question is who will chair the high level strategic policy group to assist National Security Council to review the security affairs of our country? Right answer is Mr. Ajit Dobhal. He will be the head of high level strategic policy group. This group will assist the National Security Council. National Security Council advise PM on the matters of national security We talk about Mr Ajit Dobhal he is the present national security advisor apart from that there are three deputy national security advisor these are Mr Rajendra Khanna Mr Pankaj Saran and Mr R N Ravi Mr R N Ravi has been recently appointed as deputy national security advisor next question is which of the following states has become partner state at 2018 goa international film festival right answer is jharkhand jharkhand has become the partner state at 2018 goa international film festival if we talk about international film festival of india it awards excellence in cinematic achievements it is organized in goa it is presented by directorate of film festivals the first award was given in 1965 If we talk about Jharkhand the capital of Jharkhand is Ranchi and Ayushman Bharat scheme was also launched from Ranchi recently apart from that India's first 
Khadi Mall will also be in Jharkhand and recently Jharkhand's Nagar Untari was renamed as Bansidhar Nagar answer in comment box which movie will represent India in Oscars this year next question is which union ministry has launched the India for Humanity Ministry of External Affairs launched India for Humanity initiative in New Delhi under this initiative Jaipur foot artificial limb will be distributed free of cost this initiative was launched in collaboration with Bhagwan Mahavir Viklang Sahayata Samiti if we talk about Bhagwan Mahavir Viklang Sahayata Samiti it was established in 1975 Mr Devendra Raj Mehta is the founder of this organization answer in comment box in which country panini language laboratory for the promotion of hindi was inaugurated Next question is who is the winner of India's first gold medal at 2018 Summer Youth Olympics right answer is Jeremy Lal Renuga Jeremy is a weightlifter from Mizoram and Jeremy has created history by clinching India's first ever gold in youth olympics if we talk about 2018 Summer Youth Olympics these are being organized by Argentina the capital of Argentina is Buenos Aires Miss Manu Bhaker was the flag bearer of opening ceremony of this youth olympics apart from that Tushar Mane won the first medal for India in this event he won a silver medal in shooting apart from that Tababi Devi Thangjam is the first indian to win a medal in judo at olympic level she won a silver medal in this event next question is which state will have asia's first dolphin research center right answer is bihar this national dolphin research center will be located in patna university on the banks of ganga river if we talk about gangetic dolphin it is a freshwater dolphin it is found in india bangladesh and nepal it is the national aquatic animal of india and india's only gangetic dolphin sanctuary is in bihar it is vikramsala gangetic dolphin sanctuary next question is on which date the 2018 world post day was observed recently right answer is october 9 on october 9th world post day was observed if we talk about postal system in india india post is a major postal service provider in india it is a government entity it is under the ministry of communications the headquarter of india post is in new delhi recently india post payment bank also started its operation india post payment bank also tied up with bajaj alliance to offer life insurance products next question is who clinched india's first gold medal at 2018 jakarta asian para games right answer is sandeep choudhury sandeep choudhury has won india's first gold medal at 2018 Jakarta Asian Para Games if we talk about 2018 Asian Para Games these are being organized in Indonesia's capital Jakarta Mr Joko Widodo is the president of Indonesia Indonesia was also the host of Asian Games Mr Mariyappan Thangvelu was the flag bearer from Indian side apart from that India recently initiated operation Samudra Maitri to provide humanitarian assistance to earthquake and tsunami victims in Indonesia answer in comment box who won india's first gold medal in 2018 asian games thank you if you appreciate our efforts please like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for latest notification thank you and that's all for the day